What's good, YouTube? Ray Get Nasty, back again, and I'm excited to bring this video to you today. It's something I've been waiting my entire career as a fisherman to take part in. A Walmart clearance sale, baby. So, my Walmart had all sorts of sporting goods stuff on clearance. Um, some fishing, some outdoor stuff, and I finally got to be there for it before it sold out. So let's get right in. Uh, first thing up to bat, you know, ultimate booty sculpt kit. Normally 20 bucks, eight bucks. How could I say no? Serious. But uh, really, um, during lockdown, I built a basement gym, did different exercises, hurt my shoulder, and I'm not ready to return to the gyms yet, whatever, so. And this has some bands in it that I can use for like physical therapy. But let's get into the fishing stuff. Uh, right here, real tree, UV guide shirt, breathable, sun protection, extra large, cause you know, pretty swole. No, like I said, I got hurt and I sprained my ankle fishing earlier on the bank this year. So I really haven't been lifting, but five bucks, five bucks for a fishing shirt. I'll take it. What you guys love to see are the lures. And there's even a couple of big ticket items. Uh, probably the coolest of the lures are these Yozuri floating jerk baits. Uh, it says they dived, uh, uh, oh sorry, they're four and three eighths inch. Uh, they're floating. How deep do they dive? Well, it doesn't actually say on the box from what I can see, but, uh, for 450 a piece in like a kind of a root beer tip, uh, it says crystal on it, but it's like a chrome finish. Uh, crystal minnow, fresh water floating. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about how much it floats, but for 450, I don't care how how deep they dive, I'll take them. Cause then we also got the translucent perch, which. I just, I bought these because I need more jerk baits. You know, I don't have a lot and I want some with the, a bigger lip that are good, but Rapala's, Rapala's, uh, 850, sure they're jerk bait and they float. You probably won't lose them, but my Walmart has all their lures locked up so you can't get to them. And every time I just think, ah, I'm not gonna spend $8 on a lure. I'm not gonna ask a person to open it up for me. So I got these were even cheaper, 350 and they're translucent perch. I've heard translucent is good for jerk baits, so I'm excited to use those. And I'd assume chrome is good for jerk baits because they'd look like a, like a shad coming near the surface. And if it's a sunny day, that sun is gonna be blasting off them. But just for depth perception and price checks, <laughs> I'll show you guys those. They had all sorts of toads, the Strike King toads that are top water weedless plastics. I got some super toads here in black and the price is torn off this, but I think these are normally like $3.96 a pack for three baits, a uh, dollar. This one's been marked down a couple times. It's in the pearl color. It's a rage toad, a um, dollar and another rage toad. Okay, I thought I got a gurgle toad, but I've had those previously and this is like a chartreuse and green pumpkin. Yeah, green pumpkin, it just says, but it's got a chartreuse belly, a dollar. And uh, I actually, I haven't really used these. I, like I said, I bought one pack before uh, because there's a, uh, a lake that my buddy fishes that's got super big weed pads, uh, weed beds and lily pads, <laughs> weed pads. Um, and it's hard to fish from the shore, but that's where the bass are. Uh, so if you can get a boat on that lake, it's good. But if not, I bought some of these, never got to try them. And I actually didn't know that there's a difference uh, the Super Toad has the biggest paddles, so it requires the fastest retrieval speed. Uh, the Rage Toads have medium-like sized paddles, and the Gurgle Toads have the smallest paddles. So that's a tip there. Got some Yum Crawfish Spray. Was five fifty, now a dollar fifty. Uh, I'm trying to use scents more, and I like Yum baits. You know, they've got the bin at Walmart for a dollar. 96 uh, you can't beat that also for a little bit over $1.96 for two bucks 
We got some rattle traps, Bill Lewis, a chrome here, a little bit smaller size. Uh, there's some wipers by me and uh, smaller white bass schools. I'm sure we'll take these too, but I know these are pretty good for wipers. I want to use that. Uh, and then we got like a bigger, like a sexy shad, I guess. I don't know what color. I don't know what color they call it here, but it's, oh, but it's got, uh, you know, the purple and yellow. Kind of looks like a yellow, t uh, yellow tail tuna or bluefin tuna. I don't know. Uh, but why get rattle traps for $2 when you can get them for $1 just with the price messed up, man, or the box messed up. I haven't gotten a lure for a dollar since Kmart went out of business three years ago. Let me tell you, that's a good feeling. Oh, and this is a cool one. It's just a little bit of a fiery bluegill pattern. Lure's fine. Just the box was messed up. I'll pay a dollar. Uh, back to $2 lures. I'm going to open these up too because you can't really see them. But we got a couple different Rebel ones. Uh, I made a sweet steelhead slash rainbow trout, brown trout little kit uh, that I can put into my waders that I got last year. Uh, wow, I just kind of destroyed the box. But I think these would be great for trout potentially. Uh, maybe not this one. It's a little fat guy. This is called the Teeny Wake R. <laughs> a nice little chrome uh, with a flat, like a square bill, but it's flat. So that should have a super ton of action. But uh, it's just a cool looking lure for two bucks. I figured I can't beat it. Uh, and this one is called the Silver Flash Black Color Scheme. And this is the Rebel Raider lure. Um, and that'll definitely get you some nice trout, steelheads or, you know, little stalkers. Uh, well, steelheads are stocked too, but little stalkers. And, uh, yeah, it's got a nice little subtle rattle, that translucent look. Trout will be slurping those up. Mainly I'm making this video so that way you know that it's clearance season at Walmart. You can go to your own. And then my dad was there before me. He picked up a couple things, uh... He said there was a ton of hooks, but he, my dad has a hard time getting around, so he couldn't really get to them. But he got me these weighted EWGs. I'm not actually sure what those would be for. for I don't think a tube, but they've got the weight in the, like, the head, kind of where your bait goes. Like your bait has to go around it to Texas rig it or whatever. So it would have to be for a pretty big bait, not like a lizard or a worm. And then just some black jig heads. Uh, not bad. And then I got these for 75 cents, some little marabou jigs, I guess. Yeah. A little hair marabou jigs, 75 cents. You know, we've got some nice crappie lakes around here and a couple of big ticket items. Let me ugh, pull this one up, pulling a dang anchor, 15 bucks, normally 27 bucks for a 15 pound mushroom anchor. I'm getting into boat fishing. I really want to get a boat of my own. My buddy has a boat. Uh, that him and I take out, we've been doing good. And then I just got uh, a trolling motor and battery and stuff for a boat that my buddy has, another friend of mine has on a private lake. So we went out and in a day and a half, about eight hours of fishing, we caught like, about 35 bass, between 30 and 35. No real monsters capping out at two pounds, but it was my first time going out there on a boat and we learned how to get the big ones. So hopefully I'll come back with some pictures of some catches soon. And yes, I know you can build an anchor with, uh, you know, a coffee pot and some cement mix and an eye bolt, but you know, this is 15 bucks. I mainly bought it for the video, but also just that way I have it. And the last cool item, <sighs> uh, ugh, hit the wall, a 13 fishing, medium fast action, uh, spinning two piece. Really cool. I like two piece. I know one piece seemed to work a little bit better, but the two piece is nice for storage. Uh, 20 bucks. This came with a combo. Originally 60 bucks. Someone unfortunately stole the reel. You know, that's a common problem at Walmart. So they had it marked down to 40, then they marked it down to 20. So I thought, you know, I could use a new spinning reel. Uh, I've heard mixed reviews about 13 fishing, but you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Don't always go off reviews. 
Try it for yourself. It seems pretty, pretty snappy, pretty solid. Um, I don't mind the medium for spinning because you know it helps you feel the bottom and feel the bites when you're Texas rigging, which is mainly what I use it for. And the color scheme looks cool. So it's unfortunate that people steal reels from Walmart, but uh, you know I'll take the deals while they're there because if I don't, someone else will. I hope you enjoyed this first Walmart clearance raid. <laughs> I wish I'd have gotten more. There's a bunch of the uh, Texas rig bass hooks, like worm hooks and EWGs. Unfortunately, I didn't get there in time, but uh, I got some good stuff when I came back that wasn't out when my dad went. So let me know what's the best thing you've ever found at Walmart on clearance. Like and subscribe. Catch them.